why don't you tell us what your your little little what your topic of discussion is today for this event that you're doing at Lambeau Field for the Fox City Triathlon Club? Well, first of all, I'm so excited to be sitting in Lambeau Field, looking out at the stadium where the Packers have just won the Super Bowl. <laughs> so this is really exciting. What an opportunity to come here and speak here. So I'll be speaking to the Fox City uh, Triathlon Group and just motivating them, telling my story. And just, just want, I just want to get people more motivated to get out and live a healthier, happier life. And so much of that starts first with the mind. Before can even begin to start with the body the mind has to be healthy and that's really what I promote and then once your mind is healthy and you're ready to get out there I'll give you that motivation to have fun okay, great um, so you've obviously accomplished so much in your life but I'm sure there are still things that you want to do and I wanted to know do you set goals for yourself whether they're personal or professional or athletic and what what are you always looking to forward to to accomplish you know I've, I've big long-term goals short-term goals I've I have so many different goals and I think the most important goal to me is each day waking up and saying today is going to be a fabulous day and what do I need to make this day fabulous what do I need to do mm -hmm. and I have a daughter who's five and I've been married for 20 years to my um, my college sweetheart and that is my life that is my focus is those two and how can we continue to have a fabulous life and everybody goes up has their ups and downs in their relationship but that ultimately is my main focus in my life when when it comes to business and um, my motivational speaking I want to be the best I can be and do the best job I can possibly do that day well, this is a question that relates to that, and it's probably not one that men get asked a lot, but as a fellow mother and wife, I want to know, how do you find that work-life balance? Balance is so hard, and I, I've struggled with that now ever since I had a daughter five years ago. Your world is, is just kind of go this place, go this, it's so many different directions. And for me, finding that balance is making sure that I have that special time for myself each day, whether it's a half an hour, 20 minutes, I'm lucky if I can have that hour to go out for a long run. That's, that's really, really important. But ultimately, me being happy first leads to my world happy around me. So I'm really trying to make that a priority in my life. So running is something that you do for you. What Do you ever just veg out in front of the TV or <laughs> relax? <laughs> My personality is one of go, go, go. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, it's really, really hard for me to sit down in front of the couch and just veg. Mm -hmm. But the only way I find myself doing that is if I've gone out for an hour run and I, or I've worked all day. Um, I have to really deplete myself to find that balance to, to make myself just rest. I obviously have no problem sleeping at night because I'm a go, go, go person. But that's something I struggle with and something I'm trying to work on to improve myself is, is be able to just relax. Mm -hmm. And that's hard when you have a type A personality. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've talked openly about your struggles with depression um, and going down to the lowest lows and then trying to come back up again. And I know that there's a school of thought that some people don't think antidepressants are the way to go, that you should just power through. What do you have to say about that? You know, I think every person is unique and their situ situation requires, maybe it requires medication, maybe it requires counseling. Definitely not a doctor, but I am a believer in medication and especially um, my, my brother, for example, who suffered bipolar. Mm -hmm. He needed medication to, to keep his life going. Mm -hmm. So I'm a strong believer in, in cases that it is so, so important. Um, but but again, I, I truly believe counseling is one of the best things you can do for depression and figure out what are the stressors in your life that is helping to bring on this depression. I think mm -hmm. it's, it's very, very important to, to seek help 
and find that balance and find people that are willing to help you and believe in you and have a great, great support group. But that's everything in life is having a great support group, surrounding yourself with positive, wonderful people. And that's something I have in my life right now. Um, I make sure I'm around positive people that enhance my, my thinking and enhance me instead of bring me down because I don't have time for that. I, again, my goal is to have a fabulous life. I'm 42 years old. 42 years went by so quick. Yeah. So I want to live to be 100 and I want to still be running when I'm 100. We'll see if that will happen or not. Mm -hmm. But I want to do everything I can right now to, to try and make that goal of living to 100 happen. That's great. Finally, this will be my last question. Since we're a healthy living magazine and we focus on um, fitness and nutrition, maybe you could tell us a little bit about your diet. Well, I think um, nutrition is everything, and I find also in my, with my chemicals in my brain and how I'm feeling, if I have a day where I've just eaten junk food, I've had, you know, the M&Ms, the soda, I just haven't really ate the good foods, my mood definitely changes, and I, I am a component of healthy eating 100%, but I also have my weaknesses and love my chocolate chip cookies, so I really try to balance it out, but I, I now think before I'm going to eat the junk food, okay, Susie, are you willing to eat that knowing you may get a little moody after you eat that? Is that really the route you want to go? Can you balance that off with a run? So I, I really have to weigh in what I'm eating. Food is, is the same. It can cause depression without a doubt. So eating healthy foods will just make your day that much better. And again, we all have our weaknesses and we need to splurge once in a while. I think that's, that's truly yeah. important. Another way to find the balance. Yeah, but um, exercise, eating right, and, and stimulating the mind are the most important things that you can do for yourself. Just be, be grateful for every day. That's great. Great yeah. advice. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Susie Favor Hamilton, and I am Nature's Pathways.